I'm Pierce Alexander Lil Holt. I'm just waking up here on floaty boat. There was some waves or wakes coming by and that's about time to get up. Dawn always comes early on a boat. Just about the same time every day. So what's on the plan on the docket for today? Well, first I got to make a docket, put stuff on it. No, I've got a docket. I've got a lot of dockets out here. So the plan is, so I did go out on deck. The sun's been out for a little while. There's big bag of poop on the deck. And I'm going to say it smells like poop on the deck. So that poop has to get off the deck. I've got to swab the poop deck. So I'm going to at some point load the big bag of poop. That's right, the big bag of poop into the dinghy. And I'm going to be very careful when I load the big bag of poop into the dinghy. I'm actually not looking forward to going for a dinghy ride with the big bag of poop. That's not going to be... I don't think that will be the high point of the day. For some reason, I'm, I'm doubting that is going to be the high point of the day. If that is the high point of the day, then I will say... I will never, I will never use the phrase, ain't never had a bad day again in my life, because... If that's the best thing that happens today, let me tell you, I'm already not looking forward to it. But sometimes you gotta do some things you don't wanna do in order to do things you wanna do, like poop in the boat. If you wanna poop in the boat, at some point, you gotta get that poop out of the boat. And that's how I'm gonna get the poop out of the boat. I'm gonna load it into the dinghy, and me and the big bag of poop are going to go for a boat ride. I'm gonna take the big bag of poop for a ride. Now, what else is on the docket? Well, there's a five pound, yeah, five pound propane tank out there. And you know, I'm, I, I'm not sure how much is left in those propane tanks. So I'm gonna bring that back. I have a backup that's at the house. I'm gonna go take that back up back out here next time I come bring that one back and then I'm going to take it to U-Haul which is usually the cheapest place to get propane but they also fill the tank 25% more and I think I heard that they don't fill them as much the ones you, that you just swap out for shipping purposes but I don't know either way I'd rather have my tank filled 25% more it means I have to go less to get propane so that's always a good thing. I just had one of these kind bars for breakfast. These things, peanut butter, it was good. And I'm about to drink this Yerba Mate Focus Aid instead of a coffee today, because it's a little hot. Ooh. And it says a whole bunch of stuff in it. Melon Mate. I guess it tastes melony. Neurotropics are kicking in. <clears throat> so, before I load the poop in the boat, I'm going to take this piece of Dyneema, which is too long, but I already had it cut. Then I'm gonna attach this to it. Ooh, yes, I just made this this morning. That's why I was like, I should make this video. So I tied these two knots. I really like this knot. This is one of the knots that I like tying the most, which is basically you fold it in half and then you do a hitch. So then you pull that through and now you've got a loop. And it's very strong. So why did I <clears throat> why did I tie a hitch or a loop on the end here and another one here? It's to clip these together like this. And what this is for is to is to make sure so 
my little trolling motor that I used to get in and out of here, well, only one of the little clamps that you screw on to the back tightens. So it's at 50% holding capacity, which is fine for moving around. I mean, it's a trolling motor. But <clears throat> if it were to fall off the back of the boat, I would say this, which would wrap around <clears throat> the shaft that goes down in the water, if this was tied to the transom, would keep it from sinking to the bottom. And although it is electric, I think it could maybe be submerged slightly for a brief period of time. I've left it out in the rain. I also, no, I don't do that often, but <clears throat> I've had that for about 20 years, give or take. And I'd like to have it for another 200. So, so that's out there. There were times when it was raining pretty hard and I went and I took a trash bag, covered the top of it. <clears throat> One of the things that's nice about being on land is if you have air conditioning running, waking up, having a little coffee. It's a little bit hot out here. I don't know if it's supposed to get into the 90s, but it's still heating up. So last time I was out here and I made coffee and it started heating up and it was only getting into the 80s that day, which is still pretty hot in a boat cabin because then down here it's just tack on 10 degrees. If I say it's the 90s, it's gonna be 100 down here. <clears throat> so even a fan isn't gonna fix that. Oh, and then I think I should bring this back. So this, this seemed like a good idea. This little grill basket. It's a little sticky. I should wrap that in something before I bring that back. This little grill basket seemed like a very good idea. And it is if... I don't know how well you can see this. If it wasn't for washing this thing it's um, unfortunately it's gonna be a land grill basket and the replacement for that is the no cleanup just throw it in the trash non-stick the yellow Reynolds wrap and this stuff works great just make a little pouch close it up Last night we did onions. Yeah, you can kind of smell them in the trash there. If you get close. And, <clears throat> and then you can grill vegetables that would otherwise fall through the cracks. This also did have a rather large footprint on the grill. So, I mean, it was perfect size to fit all the vegetables for two people and then have room for whatever you know, sausages or whatever next to that. Last night we did sausages, we used the Reynolds wrap to do uh, onion, and then when I do peppers on the grill now, what I like to do is slice them big, so I'll slice the top and the bottom off the pepper, and then make big strips that won't fall through the, uh, the grates. I cook them on pepper side down, and then as as the whatever the meat was sausages in this case start getting closer to being done I start to move the peppers around to the hot spots of the grill skin side down to get that little bit of blackness on the skin if you overdo that they're really and I've done it before they're really not as good but if you get that little paper thin blackness going on those peppers they're very good and the underside can cook for much longer and get the peppers a little bit softer, which is very nice. So yeah, I'm not sure what else. I'm gonna check the solar and if I have enough solar that got saved up from the sun already, probably gonna try to, de try to recharge some of these batteries. I'm not gonna be running the generator today because it's loud and it's it's a bit of a bit of a setup but anytime I want if I let's say I really did run out of power 
I could run the generator. I have extra gas out there on deck, so enough to run it for hours. And while I was charging up the batteries in here, there's two outlets on that. And whether there was or wasn't, I could plug them in here. I can actually plug in the main system for the boat and then charge the batteries with these. I have two NOCO 10s and a NOCO 5 right there. So I think pretty good on power. I, you know, it'd be nice to have another big 100 amp battery, but you know, all these batteries do start taking up space and that's, that's a serious consideration. If I was going to put in a second battery, I'd probably build a shelf right here to hold the battery up, but I'm not even tossing out the second solar panel because I think we're pretty good on power, but I believe the one off the back is 50 watts. That fold-out one that I have is 110, so it's pretty good. And yeah, so I'm gonna probably I'm gonna probably open up the computer, do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of computer productivity before I get off the boat. But yeah. Mainly just a quick wrap up, and then I'll throw on, I'll throw the cooler in the dinghy with the poop bag and my um, and my waxed canvas stuff. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping that the propane will fit right in here. And I've been using this like crazy, and this thing is sturdy. This is a one of these ready wears supply co. Yeah, this thing's heavy duty. They didn't pay me to say that. This is a good go bag. They have different sizes, and I keep some of the stuff, which I actually just dug this one out. And that's because I was looking for these lights. Fun light. Fun light is a fun light. These lights were what would go out on deck. These ones fit in the cup holders. It's flashing a little bit. This one I really like. Uh-oh. This one needs to get charged. Yeah, so, I guess I'll charge up my bun light. And keep your bum lights charged. This isn't a bum light. So I got the light bag out. I've basically done nothing today besides I ate that kind bar. So I'm just getting started. So if anything really cool happens, I'll make another video about it, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm just, I keep thinking about hauling that poop bag. Where's my, where's my crew? My poop bag hauling crew. I don't have that. And even if I did, I wouldn't subject them to being the haulers of poop bags. And somebody I knew was like, yeah, why don't you just dump it off the side? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, go dumping all the poop in the river. This is not like a, I think if you're three miles off the coast into the ocean, you can dump solid waste. Uh, even that doesn't seem far enough. I don't know. You definitely don't go dumping your poop in the Delaware River. Just for any of you who thought, oh, I got a composting toilet, therefore it turned it into compost. Therefore, let me dump it into the river. Don't dump your poop in the river. Oh, yeah. 